Hey guys, welcome to the Comic Bug's annual free comic day preview here at the Comic Bug. We've got our boxes and boxes of free comics that are going to be given out Saturday, May 3rd. The phone is ringing off the hook. People are excited. Everybody's calling in. When's, when's free comic day? How many free comics can I get? Can I wear my Black Widow costume? Of course you can, young lady. Uh, right here at the Comic Bug free comic day, we're going to have special guests. We're going to have comics. I'm going to run through them right now, uh, starting with the kids' pile, okay? So, free comic day 2014. Uh, we've got a. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, the TARDIS! Hey, it's Richard Starkings! <laughs> How's Hello. it going? Good, I just got back from 2016. Just saw the Elephant Man movie, it was fantastic. Was it? Oh, Broke cool. box office records. Wow, dude. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Well, you're, you're back in 2014. Yes, this I is am. a pre Elephant Man movie, so hopefully you checked your ego at the door. I did. All right, cool. <laughs> I was, uh, I don't know if you know what we're doing. Richard Starkings is going to be a special guest here at uh, Free Comic Day. He's the creator of Elephant Man movie, very excited. How, so, how's it end? Spoiler alert. I can't tell you. Okay. I can't tell you, but there's three sequels. Hey, did you see all three of them already? Not yet. So, does that mean there's four movies still? Yes, there is. Awesome, cool. It's a quadri 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 quadrilogy. Quad quadrilogy. Quartet. It's a, yes, it's like a four, barbershop it's quartet. four of them. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> cool. And who's in it? Can you say? Or? Uh, Scarlett Johansson. Amazing. And her first nude performance since Under the Skin, right? <laughs> if you like. <laughs> cool, I love it. And who directed it? Can you say? I can't tell you. Okay, oh, well, you know. Stay, stay he, may tuned. Been, he may have been at WonderCon this weekend. That's all I'm saying. Awesome soundtrack. So, just to kind of bring up speed, Richard, I know you've been in the future. But welcome back to the pasture. All right. Uh, we're kind of going through some of uh, free yes, comic days. Yes, we are. Uh, Comics like 2000 AD. Oh wow! Where'd you find that? I found that in the boxes back there. And what is this? So uh, 2000 AD. You're, you're not you, familiar with 2000 AD? Yeah. Well, you just comic see me. of the future for the future. Well, with a wonderful cover by Mr. Henry Flynn, who may have happened to work on Alpha Men in the past. But of course, it features Judge Dredd, illustrated by. America's own Chris Burnham. Ooh. Special story for the free comic on Comic Book Day. What else is in there? Do you know? What else is in there? It's got your Judge Dredd newspaper strips. Your that looks like Glue Tannic. That's from. That's also Henry Flint. Hmm. I think. Hold on. See, this is why these things run for 15 minutes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, by let's, Henry let's Flint. Let's read it. <laughs> Durham Red. That looks like. So is that the most? John DeSema, another American of note. That looks like Absolutely. Charlie Adler. No. no, that's not Charlie. Uh, he draws a book called Walking Dead. I, I've, I've, heard, I've heard of him. Yeah. And, and Judge that. Anderson. It's got a classic Dave Gibbons Rogue Trooper. For those of you who've reading the IDW Rogue Trooper, Free Comic Book Day, 2000 AD. Next. Comes with a free British accent. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'll read it to you on Free Comic Book. I'm not going to get to my picks just yet because I want people to stick around for that. And there they go, another person wanting to know when Free Comic Day is. It's Saturday, May 3rd at the Comic Bug in Manhattan Beach, really close to LAX Airport. What year? Uh, Teen Titans Go is uh, one of the kid ones. Th th this is basically all the kid releases that, uh, that you youngins out there. And we have some stuff like uh, SpongeBob SquarePants lettered by those fine folk at Comic Craft. Who also work on Elephant Man, I hear. And they work on Elephant Man, yes, they do. <laughs> yeah. So is that one of your picks? That would be one of my picks, but that's only at the comic book. Oh. Elephant Man. Oh, oh Elephant Man. Oh, no, I'm talking about SpongeBob. SpongeBob is one of my picks. Right. You say, who's on first? Who's on first? Uh, Kaboom. We have uh, Adventure Time. A lot of the kids love Adventure Time. Hero Bear and Kid. Fantastic, fantastic book for all you uh, fans of Calvin and Hobbes out there uh, looking to get into something a little new. Hero Bear and Kid cannot come more highly recommended. Hello Kitty, a classic. Everybody knows who Hello Kitty is. Bongo Free For All. We're going to have uh, Simpsons artist Phil Ortiz here at the Comic Bug again. He's going to be signing and doing sketches of Simpsons for people. Phil's a great guy. He is, and he can draw you as a Simpson if you buy a Simpsons tree paperback. Scratch 9, uh, something nobody's ever heard of, but it's a new kid's comic. And uh, I met the creator. He, he won't be here on Free Comic Day. Rob Woolley. Uh, I think maybe Joshua, Joshua McCann. McCann. But anyway, he had a, a lot of enthusiasm for the project, and uh, you, it looks like a fun book. So, Mega Man! Mega Man, Sonic, these Sonic guys... Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, Evergreen, man. I mean, the Sega Genesis came out in like 1990. Kids still love Sonic. I don't get it, but I guess it's awesome. And here's another thing I don't get, but Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What do they, what do they say? Do they suit up or Voltron Force? Just up? because you don't get it doesn't mean it's not popular. That's right. No, I love it. Uncle Scrooge, I do get Uncle Scrooge. McDuck. 
That's good stuff. Matter of some gravity. Published by Fantagraph Graphics. Or graphics. That means it's fancy. 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 It's it's highbrow. And Ooh. yet fun at the same time. And here's another thing we haven't heard of yet. The Adventures of Jalabi. It's like kind of piratey fun goodness with a big purple dinosaur. Uh, fun for the whole family, especially the little ones. And that looks pretty fancy too. What is that? This is Top Shelf. Kids Club, Top Shelf, publishers amongst other books. Owly, one of my favorites. And this features, what does that feature? That looks great. Maddie Kettle, good for kids. Good stuff. And last but not least, Ben, Ben's favorite comic, The Smurfs. <laughs> uh, we are the Smurfs headquarters of the I've South Bay. I've seen him, he's got every We have every Smurfs comic. book here. And uh, you can thank Ben for that, and you can come by. Ben is actually signing these. He likes the Smurfs so much on Free Comic Day. He'll draw you a little Smurf sketch. <laughs> he will. A let's talk about some of your, uh, some of your some picks, picks you got Yeah, let's see what we've got going on. Well, I've also been to the future and seen Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooga chaka, ooga, ooga, <laughs> ooga chaka. Broke box office records this year, later this year. I've Are seen it. I went into the future. It's awesome. You should go and see it. This is a comic book that everyone should pick up. Of course, Elephant Man later breaks the box office. That's what I heard, yeah. The yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy sets this year, so. Did you use Bradley Cooper as the voice of Hip Flask? I can't Hip tell you that. Okay. <laughs> uh, one of my picks? One of your picks? Bleeding Cool. Now, this isn't a comic book, but, you know, a lot of times here at the shop, you can look really smart if you read Bleeding Cool every day. I'll watch, tell you watch, this. Watch, look. Looks kind of dumb. Looks kind of smart. See? Look, look so at the intelligence just soak into his face. Not just the flat cap. But people come in and are like, what's hot? What's coming up? What's, what's going on? What, what creator is doing what in the next six months in comics? And I know these things, not because I read a ton of comics, but because I read Bleeding Cool every 20 minutes. Uh, and it is a fantastic website, and somehow he has managed, Rich Johnson over Bleeding Cool, has managed to capture all that energy and breaking news madness and put it on a printed page, which to me is simply magical how he's done I mean, I get... Posting a breaking news story. The feature a on Hero Bear and the Kid by Mike Kunkel there. Oh, wow, look at that. Learn all about what's going on behind the scenes. And Rich is a crusader, too, for, for the comic creators out there. He watches out for people out there trying to pull fast ones on such us. Such as? Such as, uh, oh, Bill Mantlo. There you go. Rocket Raccoon. Now, Rocket Raccoon is going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy, voiced by Bradley Cooper. But is not, he? Yeah, yeah did right. you know that? Yeah, well, um, yeah. He had to make his break somehow. Yeah, so he's going to be featured. Uh, you know, Mike Mignola did a fantastic um, uh, Rocket Raccoon miniseries a while back, written by Bill Mantlo, the creator of Rocket Raccoon. Now, in 1992... Somebody should raise money for him. Well, we got to tell people what happened to him first. Oh, okay. In 1992, he, he's a big bicyclist, and he was struck by a, a, a car and has been under pretty constant care ever since, since 1992. And there's a Support Bill Mantlo Relief Fund out there and we're going to donate 20% of our sales on Free Comic 20%? Day. 20%? 20%. It's, it's a lot. But you know, Bill gave us Rocket Raccoon. June now? I didn't tell June. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he gave us Rocket Raccoon. He gave us a lot of fun and it gave me a lot of fun in the 80s. You know, ROM, The Space Knight, uh, Micronauts. A lot Marvel of Team Up. Marvel Team Up. I mean, he's you know, the Hulk. He's written a lot of great books in, in the 70s and 80s and I think you know, the least we could do is give a little bit back to him and uh, help him out. Great cause. Play. Yeah. I want to recommend Transformers vs. G.I. Joe by the amazing Tom Shirley. This caught my eye, i got to say. Look at uh, that. Tom like... did Godland for Image. 37 issues. Look at that page. Six trade paperbacks. Three absolute editions. And uh, he's put amazing work into this Transformers G.I. Joe work. It looks like if Jeffrey Brown and Jack Kirby had a love child. You have this guy. I actually went back into the past and brought these for Free Comic Book Day. They were made <laughs> in 1975 when Tom I could tell by the was only paper. six years old and yet still this talented. So that's there. Free Comic Book Day. Transformers vs. G.I. Joe from IDW. Helps to have a, you know, a time traveler for a buddy and, yeah. and guest at oh, Comic yeah. Day. This is one from my adult pile of comics. Uh, not for kids, but that doesn't mean, you know, comics aren't just for kids. This is the Hip Hop Family Tree published by Fantagraphics, um, and they put out a big, fat hip-hop family tree book last year, and this, I think, is actually maybe some new material. But you've got the Sugar, Sugar, Sugar Hill Gang, you've got Grandmaster Flash, you've got the history of some of these great rappers and pioneers from back in the day. And it, again, some of the content is a bit on the adult side, so you've got to be, you know, have a little hair on your face before you pick this one up, but it's a Will lot of fun. Will that be behind the counter? 
It'll be, yeah, you know, not behind the camera. It'll be like on the side where we're monitoring, all right. you know, all the little young uh, younglings. If you like your adult comics a little bit more historical, Shigeru Mizuki's Showa. Is that how you pronounce it? Showa. I took a shower this morning. <laughs> history <laughs> of tell? Japan. Yeah, history of Mike Wellman. <laughs> That's from Drawn and Quarterly. Amazing work. An amazing comic book creator. It's free on Free Comic Book Day. Awesome. Can I talk a little bit more about one of our other special yes, guests we can. have coming? Uh, this is Ray Anthony Height's fantastic book, Midnight Tiger. It's, uh, it, it's you know, kind of a, a Spider-Man kind of fun superhero story. Get in on the ground floor of this amazing new young superhero, Midnight Tiger. It, it's got shades of Invincible, like I said, shades of Spider-Man. Well, there is Spider-Man. What's he doing in there? Shh, don't tell Marvel. Uh, and Ray will be here. He just did. He'll be signing. He'll be sketching. He's a fantastic guy. I'm so glad that he's uh, coming down to Free Comic Day this year with us. And from Image, from Mark Silvestri, Top Cow at Top Cow, comes Rise of the Ma Magi. Uh, the Magi, Magi, maybe? The Magi. Magi. Rise of the Magi. Written by Mark, cover by Mark. He wrote it? He's the writer. Wow. And drawn by Sumai Kezgin. Oh, they changed his hat there a little bit, didn't It's he? a nice looking book. It's new from Top Cow, and it's free on Free Comic Book Day. I'm going to talk about some of these real quick, just because right we, we don't, you know, you guys have a limited time here. We have Valiant Comics, Armor Hunters. Now, this is a uh, who wrote this? Oh, it looks like it's very. Would it be our friend? It's not Josh. It's Robert, Robert Vendetti, Vendetti who will be our friend in the future, right? Didn't Robert wrote. Um, what was that? Uh, Bruce Willis movie, that Top Shelf. Die Hard? No, no, no. I don't know. It'll come back to me. IMDb that. Ah, by my buddy, Doug Braithwaite. Oh, yeah, you like that guy. He's good. I hired Doug when he was 15 years old. Now, look at the, look at this stuff. Look at it. It's beautiful. Down go. He is one of the top ten artists in my estimation. And when they first brought back Valiant, I thought it was the craziest, most insane idea ever. It's like, wow, you know, because the old Valiant comics weren't, the most collectible old comics, but they've done such a great job. They've really revitalized that entire line. It's, it looks fantastic. You kids love Avatar? We'll have Avatar here for you. Atomic Robo. Now, this was uh, Atomic Robo, I think, premiered on one of the first free comic book days and is still going strong. It's one Eisner's. It's a, it's a fun book by the Red Five guys, and uh, we'll have a bunch here for you on free comic day. DC Futures End. Have you read this? I haven't. Well, it takes you into the future of it's DC Comics. It's beyond Batman Beyond? It's beyond that. It's beyond... Oh, my God. Look at that gruesome... Spoiler alert. Anyway, uh, there's some, some heavy, heavy stuff happening in the dark future of DC Comics, and it's not just employee layoffs. It's, uh, it's the you know, future's end, and it's not going to be pretty. And we're going to have a bunch of them here. Surrogates. Every comic day. Surrogates. That's the name of the... Bruce oh, Hall. yeah. It was a comic first. Robert Vendetti wrote Surrogates, and he wrote... Armor Hunters. <laughs> All you need is kill. Now, I don't know much about this. Maybe you guys in the comment section can clue me in because I'm seeing this everywhere. And is it a video game? Is there a movie? There's both? There's, what are you, your lips are saying what? Tom what? Cruise movie. Tom Cruise? Oh, Tom is Cruise. that what? That's the problem. All you need is kill? So, you know. It's called something else, though. It what's is, it called? It, uh, it's okay. The new movie? Tomorrow something. <laughs> is it out already? Or is no, it's, it's coming out in the summer. Okay, yeah. so based it was on all you need is to Yeah. So you can get this on Free Comic Day, and if you ever bump into Tom Cruise in the street, you can talk to him about All You Need Is Kill and how you've read it, and it'll be something to talk about. I met Tom Cruise once. He's very intense, and he is ready to talk. Um, the Tick, a, you know, another staple in the con comic industry now, has been around for probably 25, 30 years. Always fun. I, you know, it's, The Tick is just so rich with material. You know, it, I've never read a bad issue of Tick. Have I was you? in the elevator with the Tick uh, this weekend at WonderCon. You mean the actor that played the Tick? Or the, it was the Tick. The Tick was the Tick. Okay. Yes, yeah, for real. Cool. Now, Worlds of Aspen. Aspen Comics just released Lola XOXO. It's a great book. Uh, I think it's going to be their next Lady Mechanica, if you ask me. There's a Lola XO pinup. I'll have to do it like that. There's the front. There's the back. Um, and there's, there's some previews of uh, Vince Hernandez's Damsels in Excess. I think it's about cosplaying. Edge of Tomorrow is the movie. Edge of Tomorrow is the name of the movie. Okay. And Aspen, doing lots of good work. Great guys. I'm not sure if any of them are going to be here on Free Comic Day. Currently, they're not scheduled, but uh, they're local. Maybe so. they'll see this video and think. 
We need to go to the comic book. We need to go there. I have Courtney and Crumrin. No, it's Courtney Crumrin. That's what I said. That's her first and last name. I have Courtney Crumrin. By Ted Nafee. <laughs> from Oni Press. A beautiful looking book created by Ted. Yeah, Ted Nafee. 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 I think that's how you say it. I tell you, these comic book creators. They're, they're fancy un names. Unpronounceable names. There we go. It's free. Is it all ages? And it's good. It's good. It is. You know, if you want to school yourself in defending comics or learning how to collect comics or whatever, we've got the handbooks for that. Comic for book free. Legal Defense Fund. Comic Defend book Marketplace. Comics. Learn how to make a million dollars in two weeks reading this. All right. What's next, Mike? Uh, let's talk about these. More Valiant. This is like a Valiant handbook. Valiant's a rich universe. Lots to learn about. You'll need this. Look at all that. All that information. Handy dandy. Project Black Sky from Dark Horse. Is there something on the other side of that, too? There could be an ad for Ghost. There might be. I don't know whether that's part of it. But oh. Ghost is left by those fine folks at Comic Craft. Who also work on Elephant Man. They do work on Elephant Man. Yeah. So th yeah, this, this, this is, is a action, big gorillas. For fans of Rocketeer, you know, kind of throwback superhero it's fun. Amazing artwork, too. Yeah, good stuff. Who's the artist? I don't know. Michael Broussard. Fantastic stuff. Good work, Michael. What have I got here? Somebody's calling about Free Comic Day again. They just can't get enough. It's May 3rd. Stick around. This looks like a uh, Alex Ross cover. Not in the front, though. No, but it's on the back. On the back. See, who, you who get a free an comic. Alex Ross cover on Alex, the back. It's free on the back of <laughs> the Intrinsic, okay. published by somebody. Arcana. Oh, okay. Is that it? Our Canada does it. And it looks like, a, show people the inside, it looks like a lot of fun, almost like a CGI sort of airbrush look there. Every comic book is fun, but it's free. Past the Last Mountain, I like that title. Look at that cover. That looks, that looks intriguing. We've got dragons and helicopters and spaceships and stuff. Looks cool. Have you had a chance to read these yet before you guys on, in the YouTube comments are criticizing, like, these guys haven't read these books? But we just got them. But they do look a lot, like a lot of fun. Here's Ben Templesmith, who just got engaged. Congratulations, Ben. Far From Wonder, Volume 1, Hatter M. New York Times best-selling author, Frank Bedor. And Hatter M's been around for a while, too. Hatter M is, is uh, Mad Hatter, right? It's an cool Alice in Wonderland riff. Ipso facto. From... QED. From QED. No, I just said it's oh. a factor of QED. And there's, you know... You can cut that bit. Good stuff. What does QED mean? That which has been proven. Oh. It's from Ipso Facto Comics. And they have a Facebook page, and you can... We'll have that book here. Come early, because we didn't get a ton. But we'll have it. Andrew Robinson, has he ever been at the con? He what? has. it. He, he did that cover. That's a cover by that. Andrew Robinson. He did from the, the Fifth Beetle. Beetle, yeah. And this is the cover of... Sherwood, Texas. Now, 12 Gauge, is that Steve Niles Comic Company, or does he have something to do with that? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know either. Kevin Gardner, no, I don't see it. Shane name. Berryhill wrote it. Is that an anagram of Steve no, Niles? No. I don't think so. But it looks like some good, you know, Paps Blue Ribbon redneck fun in that book there. Redneck fun, you know all about that. Yes, I do. Colored yes, by do. my buddy, Charlie Kirchhoff. Free on Free Comic Book Day. We'll zoom through these real quick. Let me see. Let me see. The manga. The manga. Condensed here. I, did no you see that movie? I yes, you did. I did. Um, Great yeah, movie. I didn't. It looks like it's too long for me. Buck Rogers. I love the Buck. Um, you and, do love the Buck. And and here he is. You know, he, he's only the only thing cooler is Flash Gordon. Grimm's Fairy Tales. Free on Free Comic Book Day. V Wars. Steam Wars. I'll take v -wars. your V Wars and raise you a Steam Wars. V Wars versus Steam Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're free. They're awesome. That's from IDW. That's a good This looks look like a steampunky Star Wars. Uh, on all the way down to the Millennium Falcon and TIE Fighters. <clears throat> okay. Magic Wind. I had a magic. What's that from? EC. EC look inside. I was, uh, dude, take a look inside. That looks really good. It's pretty. It is. And it's free on free comic book day. Look at that. Isn't that great? It's like European looking. Uh, Darshan. I had a friend named Darshan. Um, he's a good guy. And what's on the other side there? This is a flip Red book. Red Giant. Now, these, are all, these all come in a pack. Red Giant. You get four books with Red Giant, unless we decide to break them up and give them out individually. Uh, and they have stuff for kids. They have the first daughter, which looks like it's possibly the president's daughter, and she has superpowers. FUBA. You know what that stands for? I know that 
FCBD won't beat FUBA. No, not here. And Westward Sons and Tesla, not the band. From FUBA to UBA. This By the one, amazing Kieran Gillen. Not for kids. Not for kids. Not for that kids. That will be up high behind me, and I'll reach for it if you ask for it. Nicely. Entropy. Epic. Scam. Crosswords. Scam crosswords. Is it a crossword? No, it's, oh it's, man, they they missed the boat on that. It's some play on words. That would have. There should be a crossword comic. Zombie tramp. Would there be any zombie tramps here? I hope so. I mean, because if you're I, a zombie tramp, come and visit us. Wear a Zombie Tramp costume and get a free Zombie Tramp comic. Epic. Uh, I think I talked about that already. Entropy. And uh, only at the Comic Bug can you get a free... We won't scoop. be giving this one away because that gives the ending away. We won't okay. be giving this one away. But if we're not giving one of these two away, there will be a free copy. Of of Elephant Man. Just come, smile real nice at this guy. Uh, he'll sign them. He, are you doing sketches on Free Comic Bug? I will do sketches. Cool. Those that I can do. And... Uh, have you been practicing your Spider-Man? Because there's going to be a lot of Spider-Man fans on Free Comic Day. That's the guy with eight legs. Eight legs, right? lots of webbing on. Harry back. I don't want to see any black Spider-Man costumes. <laughs> I, want, I want every web. I do, I do a sort of Lego Spider-Man. Oh, sketch. man, your line's going to be very long. These kids love Legos. <laughs> because everything is awesome, right? Everything is awesome. And Street Fighter, we just forgot to mention it earlier. But it just does look cool. And oh. 2080, the comic... Of the future, for the future, by the future. Free Comic Day. Every comic shop in the world is doing Free Comic Day, I think. Uh, check it out, freecomicday.com, free comic, free comic book day .com. And uh, we're doing it here at the Comic Bug from 11 to 4, Saturday, May 3rd. Richard Starkies will be here. Mike O'Hare will be here. We have a long list of guests. Check it out on our Facebook page, which will be linked below. And uh, Wonder Woman will be here, and and we'll be here. And Make a dread sequel. Give your uh, dread impersonation, Mike. Oh, <laughs> oh, And that's it. Ooga chaka. Ooga 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 chaka. Ooga 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 chaka. Cut that bit. Cut that bit. <laughs> <laughs>